Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Hallo allemaal. Damn. Dit, uh, dit gaat snel. <laughs> Kijken. Kunnen jullie mij zien? Als je me kan zien, zwaai eventjes. Verstaan jullie mij ook goed? Ja? Moet ik harder praten, zachter of gewoon goed zo? Oké, okay, top. Ik ga even kijken hoor, want we zijn nu met 112 mensen. Ik ga even hoi Indy, Melissa, Nina, Caitlin, Isaura, Sanne, Renske. Awesome jongens. Hebben jullie er een beetje zin in? Hey! Ik bedoel, er zijn ongeveer, als ik het goed zeg, 4800 aanmeldingen geweest in totaal. En uh, jullie zitten bij de top 100, dus uh, gefeliciteerd. Dat jullie er allemaal heel erg zin in hebben, met name nu ook omdat we al zo lang geen concerten meer hebben kunnen meemaken. Uh, ik bedoel, ik kwam er vandaag zelfs achter dat het alweer twee jaar geleden is dat wij bij, de, bij uh, Vijf Sos waren. Dus uh, echt insane. Maar um, voordat, ik, uh, voordat we van start gaan, wil ik graag weten uh, wie heeft er een VIP-pakket gewonnen? Wie zat er bij de eerste 20? Kan je je hand opsteken? Dan ga ik er even doorheen. Even kijken. Jesse, Daisy, Hester, Iris Malon, als ik het goed zeg. Kelly. Oké, okay, ik kan wel doorgaan helemaal. Yes, Sanne. Ah, je zit ook bij je. Nadja, Iris. Toppie. Oké, okay, als er meer Ik ga even weer terug, want anders dan hou ik zelf geen orde. <laughs> nou, top jongens. Echt, ik hoop dat jullie het leuk vinden, de VIP-pakket. Dat er wat in zat, wat jullie ook kunnen gebruiken. Er zat natuurlijk eten en drinken bij. Um, voordat we gaan beginnen, jongens. Uh, ik wil zeker weten dat jullie allemaal op speaker view zitten. Want als je op speaker view zit, dan kunnen jullie straks uh, Bradley super goed zien. Uh, hebben jullie dat? Thumbs up. Yes, zo niet. Doe het nu eventjes. Want dan heb je de beste ervaring om hiervan te kunnen genieten van deze show. Uh, ja, ik wil zeggen, ga lekker allemaal uh, filmen. Vergeet, als je gaat filmen, vergeet dan niet Bradley te taggen. De fans, Dixter natuurlijk. Uh, en uh, ja, we gaan... Uh, Kijken hoe het straks gaat. Ik wil ook graag als hij klaar is met het zingen. Zodat iedereen gewoon even lekker gaat applaudisseren. Dus laten we even oefenen. Dus de show is klaar. Ik tel het tot drie af. En dan gaan we allemaal applaudisseren. Dus drie, twee, één. Woe! Top. Oké. Okay. Even kijken of ik wat ben vergeten. Qua um, huishoudelijke mededelingen. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Daarbij jongens. Trouwens, uh, we hebben ook een playlist en dat is uh, helemaal ook voor de fans. Dus vergeet niet in de Dixter Stories uh, na de show te kijken of nu alvast. Daar heb je de playlist staan die jullie kunnen luisteren met heel veel de fans tracks en heel veel li liedjes die je waarschijnlijk ook leuk zou vinden als je dat leuk zou vinden. En um, tijdens deze chat zal iedereen uh, fans kunnen, of allemaal vragen kunnen stellen hier in de chat. En zal uiteindelijk een van jullie de kans hebben om een vraag te kunnen stellen aan Bradley zelf. Dus... Superleuk lijkt mij. Dus eh, ga goed nadenken. Heb je een supergoeie vraag? Gooi het in de chat. Team Dixon gaat zoeken naar de allerleukste vraag en zal je dan berichten. En dan zou jij de kans hebben om zelf een vraag te kunnen stellen aan Bradley zelf. Daarnaast ook iemand die uh, heeft meegedaan op ons Instagram kanaal op Dixon Nederland. Die zou ook een vraag mogen stellen. En um, ja, dat is het eigenlijk wel zo'n beetje. Ik denk um, dat dit goed is. Heeft iedereen speaker views? Iedereen er klaar voor? Ja, ik zie wat geknik. Helemaal top. Dan um, ga ik over naar het Engels. So, we're going to English. Everybody is here for this amazing showcase with Bradley Will Simpson from the Femmes. Can I get a warm welcome for Bradley? Woo! Yo! What's How going you on? Hey man, how are you? And hello everyone, by the way. Hello everyone, how's it going? Give me a wave. <laughs> yes, yes. Tell me, so... you're from uh, from your home? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. So, how have you been doing uh, during the quarantine? Been good, been good. Been trying to stay positive. Um, lots of cups of tea, and yeah, lots of these. We've done a couple of these like Zoom events, and it's cool to get to see. I'm currently flicking through the pages to see everyone, so I'm gonna <laughs> say hey to a few like Melissa, Julia, Jessica. Brit, every, everyone's in, it's cool. And can we do a special shout out, sorry, um, to Daryl, who's got the Vamps logo as his background. Yeah. <laughs> See Daryl, we love Daryl, my guy. 
How, how are you? How are you, Casper? How is your? I'm doing great, man. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, we cannot complain. I think uh, everybody here also. Everybody's healthy. Uh, we just gotta wait until the virus goes lower, and hopefully everybody can do everything again. And hopefully everybody here can go and see your shows again of you guys. As soon as we can. Well, soon. Um, yeah. yeah. So the your your last al- album, like for example, uh, could you tell us something about it, or maybe about like during this quarantine, like uh, how was it? I mean, you dropped it now during the this time. Yeah, it was weird, man. It's weird because usually we get to go and tour it and play it and all of us kind of get to share it in a room together. But um, I feel like it's been um, a nice moment for everyone, even like the fans and us to kind of release something positive during quite a weird time. And hopefully it's been, it's given all of you guys something to kind of, I don't know, a bit, of, a bit of like relief in quite a weird time. And you get, I hope you're enjoying the songs and I hope everyone's. Um, I guess they are, right guys? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's been it's been nice. It's been nice, man. Okay, I cool. Mean, not nice. It's not been nice. It's it's oh, been all right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we prefer to be like outside. You can yeah. go see everybody. Yeah. But uh, no, I get you, man. Yeah. Well, um, I I would I would say like I can keep asking you a lot of questions, but like I um like I just told the others like uh, some of the fans will ask you a question, so everybody's gonna drop like a question here in the chat, and the team here at Dixer is gonna choose one for you. So, um, be ready for the questions of your fans, first of all. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. And, uh, yeah, take it away, man. Do your thing. The stage is yours. Oh, am I singing now? Yeah, man, you're singing. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. okay. Sorry. I thought we were doing... No, I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on, let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> feels like a real gig <laughs> okay we're gonna play married in vegas so i can see you so sing along or if, or dance do whatever you do no good for me in my frame of mind i think about you all the time I'll call it Yeah Feels like a T-Girl Feels like the lowest blow Yeah, 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 yeah. Under the neon lights I think we might get Married in Vegas I'm 
be here all night and I cast your cards down I roll the dice yeah yeah feels like a tick hell feels like the lowest blow oh yeah under the neon lights I think we might get married Sounds good. Sounds good. Thanks, man. Thanks. It feels nice. It's nice to like play for an audience again. We've really missed it. Yeah, of course. And you say like we really miss it. Like I was wondering, um, like how are the other guys doing? They're really good. Yeah, everyone's really, really good. Um, staying safe, staying positive. All um, yeah, excited about like the album being out. And then we've got a couple of. We just announced we're doing a uh, virtual show. Um, it's like gonna be amazing because it means that it's like all of the fans across the world get to kind of tune in. It's the first time that we've ever done anything where it's like the whole of the Vamps family can be like there. So it's really, really exciting. Um, so we're all buzzing about that. Awesome, man. That sounds really good. Really nice. I'm really curious, man. It's gonna be wicked. Yeah, do tune in. I'll send you a link. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, for everybody watching, um, I'm gonna do a really quick dash again, Brad, just in case, so they can see you good. Yeah. Uh, for the mensen die nog niet weten wat speaker view is, dat zie je rechts bovenin. Je hebt daar uh, kan je op speaker view drukken, en dat betekent dat je dan alleen Bradley full ziet. Dus voor degenen die dat nog niet wisten, uh, dat kun je doen. Okay, so that was the announcement was for the speaker view thing. Uh, yeah, well, let's start with the, the questions. We're going to start with the Instagram question. Uh, if I say her name good, her name is Larissa van Royen, and she is in this chat. So I think somebody should uh, unmute her. In- Hi. Yes, she's hey. here. Take it away, Larissa. Hi. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so nervous right now. Hi, okay. Um, okay, so I wrote it down because I'm, uh, I was scared I'm going to forget it. So the question is, uh, what's different between your first album and your latest album? The difference between our first album and this album? Yes. Oh, thank you for the question, by the way. I hope no you're problem. Right. Um, I don't know. You know, we had a conversation when we were making this album, the fifth album, that we wanted to capture the energy that we had on the first album. So I don't know how many of you guys heard or like listened or were there for the first album. Big up. I have it. <laughs> yeah, come on, Larissa. Um, but like it, it was there was like a real energy to that album and like a positivity and kind of like it, it just felt really really upbeat and it felt like a really good live album as well so I think weirdly this album has been the closest thing to our first album in terms of energy and like how excited we've been about it um we kind of went a few different places for the second third and fourth but this one's like kind of captures a similar thing so weirdly it's kind of similar I, I think anyway I don't know what you guys think but I love it. Oh, thank you. I like your t-shirt as well. Very thank nice. you. <laughs> I like your hair. <laughs> and Larissa, what's your favorite song of uh, the film's new album? Um, Trading Water and Protocol. Sick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Larissa. Thank you, Elle. Bye. Thank you. Hey, Brad, by the way, asking her, like, what's your, if you need to think of, like, your, this album, uh, what's your favorite track of it, like, and why? Like, which one is the closest to you? It differs, man, like, every, every day. Because I listen to the album every single day. I love it <laughs> that much. No, um, I, I don't know. They're different for all different reasons. Like, we all... I think Part of Me was a really special one for the four of us. Um, just because it was, like, the first one that we kind of really, really, like, kind of got in a room, just the four of us, and honed in. Um and it was a really like special song to us. So uh, it's probably part of me, I'd say. But at the moment, it changes all the time. Okay, sounds good, man. Well, um, 
yeah, I think uh, we're. I think everybody's really curious to hear more music from you, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I like uh, your hat as well, by the way, Casper. It's vibing. I actually also have, hold on before I go into the song. Right then. It's not yellow, man, but it is vibrant. Ah, look at this. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> This is goals. This is goals, man. Yeah, this is there's a connection here. There's a connection. I knew it. I knew there was something. <laughs> right, okay. We fell, now we're falling up. Do you even know? sleep while I'm falling in love going through the motion so tell me did things get better or did we get used to it tell me how did we get it so much space in this bed did we learn to make a little feel like how that we could get ill yeah we could do better we could better than this and I want you to for less than best I say it so I don't forget I want you to for less than best we can do better than this I buy my time then I start to scream it does it make a difference at all cause we should be love as if there's a spark we should bring cover all that Still good to let it go. Did things get better? Or did we get used to it? How did we get it? So much space in this bed. Did we learn to make a little? Feel like how do we could get ill? Yeah, we could do better. We could do better than this. I want to do for less than best. I say it so I don't forget. I want it over less than best. And we can do better than this. We can do better. 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 I am. Um, someone commented right in the middle of that, Casper. I saw the comment pop up. Which uh, comment did you pop up? Uh, it flugel. A flugel. <laughs> oh my god, that is the most excited I've seen everyone. I've played two songs. I've said hello. I've had a com and then the flugel. Everyone goes crazy. But is it like is flugel like a thing between you and your fans, or well, is it? Is it not a drink? It's ah, a drink. okay. So I thought maybe it's yeah, it's, a, it's a drink in Holland. It's called flugel. Yeah. I think everybody is really into flugel here. <laughs> Apparently <laughs> I hope, so. I hope everybody is eighteen plus though, because otherwise you're not allowed to drink. Uh, everybody. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. No, I think uh, last year we played a show and they threw a little miniature of flugel at us and we all really? yeah we all had a go on it there it was there it is kim is holding it up did it hurt or it didn't get you with it it was good it's very sweet it's very sugary oh you tried it ah nice yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had it, it. it's very very sugary um, yeah no definitely it's a really good one 
Yeah, is it is it quite a popular? I don't know how we've got on to going so deep about flugel, but yeah, it... I know. <laughs> well, to give you a short, like flugel are like those little shot bottles you can get like in really right. big uh, portions. So it's uh, I think if I'm not not wrong though, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But uh, I think like flugel is also a thing like everybody buys with New Year's Eve. Like then you get like a, a lot of like flugel bottles and everybody enjoys it. Well, not everybody here, but some people are like yes. <laughs> yeah. We know who enjoys it. We can yeah, see. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can see you. Um, yeah, no, it's um, yeah. And maybe I'll have to put an order of flugel in for me and the boys. We'll uh, we'll all get some. <laughs> you yeah. should, man. You should. Yeah. So yeah, man. Like yeah, go 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 take your tea, and uh, you can go for the for the next song. Oh, I'm so I'm completely sorry. I was just yeah. No worries, no worries, man. <laughs> I thought you want to talk quick about flugel. So sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind talking about flugel. <laughs> I got very distracted there. <laughs> go. Uh, Self the hurt. Man, can I can I give you a really good big compliment? I think you hear it a lot of times, but your voice is so nice. It's so oh, nice. Thanks, man. Thank you. Very kind of you. Very kind so of you. I, I think you you noticed it, but like the chat is going like crazy. Um before I'm gonna uh, tell who is gonna ask you the question, um everybody's saying like Jack, 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 Jack. Like, do you know what, what they mean with it? Basically, Casper. Yeah, tell me. There was a um, there was a song that we did a year like years ago before the first album was even out, mm -hmm. and I, I've seen people have got me on like group FaceTimes and stuff, so it's like people are, are bothered about it. But we did a song years ago, right? And then it didn't end up going on any of the albums, but it became like a real 
the, you guys really, really seemed to like it. The fans really, really liked it. And we never, ever played it. I think we did it once acoustic at like a fan fest tour that we did. So I, I have the feeling that like the fans really hope like secretly somewhere, maybe in the future, you guys will play it once. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Who I mean, knows? I like we we should at some point, but we're really making you wait for it. We're gonna really, really <laughs> make you wait. Yeah, it will be worth it, guys. It will be worth it. Yeah. Anyhow, man. So the the person who's gonna ask you a question, I have the name here. Um, it's her name is Sonne, but there are four Sonnes here in the chat. We've seen. So the person who is gonna ask you a question, um, wave. If uh, this is your name, we saw you singing really loud all the time. <laughs> uh, your name is Sanne Turning Red. And it was uh, a question regarding something about lyrics. Uh, if you can wave, then uh, one of the other guys Hi. here. Hey. Awesome. Okay. Um, okay. So wait, I can't remember my question. I think it was, what's your best memory of writing and producing the album? Ooh. Hmm. I don't know. There was a lot of really, really special ones for us. Thank you for your question, by the way. Hope you're okay. Um, we we spoke about it a lot, but we did these Airbnb trips, the four of us, where we went away, and it was the first time that we'd done it in years. Like just taking time out the four of us to go and lock ourselves in a Airbnb in the middle of nowhere and just mainly just eat good food drink lots and then uh, if there was a song come out of it we'd be happy about it but mainly it was like really fun for us to kind of all get back together but um the yeah I think the the process of writing and producing part of me was like really really special and it was just like a bat came in the room at one point Connor was like me James and Trish went on a walk and then Connor stayed in the uh, Airbnb that we were staying at. And then we just got this video and he was like, there's a bat in here. And it was just this bat was flying around the Airbnb just here and he was panicking. That was very, very, very funny. I don't know what happened to the bat in the end, but um, yeah, no, that, that they were lots of special memories on those trips. Oh, that's fun. Also, can I just say uh, thank you for everything you've done for me? Like this album already got me through a lot and it, means so much to me so thank you for that oh no of course. thank you i'm glad it could help and that's good to hear thank you i'm glad you're enjoying it hopefully we'll be soon soon we need to just play gigs oh, oh please yeah, i know <laughs> well, i hope you're all right i'm glad to hear that thank you elsa thank you El. awesome man it's so nice to see like how um everybody is like supporting you guys and how good also you guys are supporting them with the music Oh man! It's the special it, thing about music, uh, in my opinion, amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. It's the best, the best. And and these guys have literally been with us from day one and supported us from day one. So thank you so much, genuinely, from all of us. Do you want to say something quick, like something really quick in Dutch? By the way, I know everybody would love to hear you speak a little bit of Dutch. I'll Maybe. give it a go. Yeah. What would you like to say to them? I will. I will translate for you, so I can help you. Um. How do you say we love you and we can't wait to see you? Wij houden van jullie. Wij houden van jullie. 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 Wij houden van jullie. Yeah. Yes. And we kunnen niet wachten. You're gonna have to slow that one down for me, there, man. And we kunnen. And we kunnen. Niet wachten. Niet wachten. Yes. Om jullie. Om jullie te zien. Te zien. Te. 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 Go again. Te. So it's like te. <laughs> te. Yeah, te zien. Te zien. Yeah. I think it's great, man. Is that right? Is that okay? <laughs> you sound like a true Dutch. True Did Dutch. Someone, man. someone just edit all of those bits together <laughs> so it sounds like I, I nailed it. <laughs> Otherwise, we will do it there for sure. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, so you're, we have one song to go. Uh, yeah. It's a song from an older album, if I'm right. It is from the third album. Well, I think, uh, yeah, let, let's surprise the others. Oh, thanks. Round of applause to Casper, by the way. <laughs> Legend. Thank you. Cool. to 
this one. Annoy your parents. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you to Digster and Casper and the whole team for having me. And, so much, man. And hey, so one, love. One. All the boys send their love as well. Everyone <laughs> sends their love. Hey, by the way, we have like one one last question. And it's like, is there can we expect um, something uh, extra from what you didn't told us yet uh, now in 2020, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Uh-uh. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think so. we got some more stuff. We got some more stuff. No, no ints, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that give it away. <laughs> no, we got some exciting things coming. Okay, awesome, man. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. Also, like all the fans, thank you so much for being here. Um, let's go quick in Dutch. Echt super tot dat jullie allemaal waren en om ook uh, Brett kunnen supporten en hierbij mogen zijn. We vonden het super leuk om dit met jullie te mogen waarmaken. We're really happy to make this happen with you, Brad. It was uh, amazing. Can I do uh, a um, quick one in everyone way for my Instagram? I'm going to go through. Okay, wait there. I don't waste it. Hold up, hold up. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Great. <laughs> go, go, go. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. And then... Um, by the way, everybody, like if you if you filmed uh, some parts, just drop it on your socials and don't forget to tag Bradley, the fans, and also ask Dixter and L. And um, then we can repost a lot of your videos also. It would be nice to show everybody uh, this uh, what you guys experienced with this exclusive showcase from Brett. 
And uh, also for everybody, like if you're after the showcase, don't forget to uh, check our channel, to check uh, a playlist full with Songs of the Fans. So you guys can uh, enjoy after. Dus dan kun je nog een beetje lekker nagenieten nog met muziek, waaronder heel veel van de fans. En uh, ja, thank you all so much. Ik zou zeggen, hopelijk tot de... Uh, go quick Dutch, sorry by the way. <laughs> Ik zou zeggen jongens, tot, uh, tot de volgende keer, hopelijk. Uh, ja, jullie mogen zelf de, de, de chats verlaten en hopelijk tot de volgende keer. Vergeet niet te taggen en dingetjes te plaatsen en uh, we hopen jullie snel terug te zien. Bye bye everybody. Thank you guys. Love you. See you soon.